we've got loads of uh, this morning family down in our woodland today, so uh, we thought we should probably feed. Them. That's a good idea. Donal is standing ready to cook up a forest feast on the campfire. Hi, Donal. Hi look. guys, we are so excited to be in the forest today and they're, they're all looking very hungry around me so I think we're, we're going to cook up something very tasty and something delicious that you can make both at home in the kitchen or outdoors if you're camping or doing something fun out in the wilderness. So we're going to make up some veggie fajitas. The beauty of this is that it's all veggie based, it's really easy to do and you probably have a lot of the ingredients for this recipe in your store cupboard. So we're going to start off with some basic veggies and because we're going to slow cook these over a fire or in the oven, we we kind of want like root veg, things that will kind of last and will roast out for a long time. So I've got some carrots, some beetroot and some red onion. And what we really want to do is get the caramelization going on with these. So we're going to add in our oil on here. Uh, I'm going to add some salt, some seasoning um, and a little bit of pepper if you have it. But we're going to be adding uh, some great pantry ingredients here as well. So I've got some dried oregano or organo. Uh, we've got some cumin seeds as well. I'm leaving these whole because I actually think as you bite into them, you've got some really great flavour as well. And then the last thing which really makes a difference here, and this is one thing, if you spot it in the supermarket, pick it up, it's chipotle paste. And it's dark, smoky and sweet. It is going to be the thing that makes the difference to this recipe. So about a teaspoon, oh, now I can't get it open. A, a teaspoon's amount goes in here. It's dark, it's sticky, and you can see it's a really vibrant paste that just really adds a lot of flavour here. So what I want to do is just mix this through now. We've got all that flavour going on. And like I said, if you wanted to do this open fire, by all means do it. Just do it slowly open the, on the open fire or alternatively in an oven, 200 degrees Celsius, and you've got going to cook it for about 35, 40 minutes, just until those veggies are nice and tender. When it's completely coated, you've got that paste going on, dump that straight into your hot pan. So we're going to see how this goes. We get that going. And what I would suggest is you start on a high heat so you get that caramelization, that char action going. And you should hear a good sizzle. If, you're not got the, if, you, haven't, if you haven't got the sizzle, you're not in business. So make sure you give that a good mix through and leave it to sit. Don't be tempted to keep coming back to it. Just check it every now and then. So while that's cooking out, we're going to get the accompaniments on. So with this, because we've got sort of dark, sticky heat with our veggies, we want to liven this up and brighten it up. And particularly when you serve this to the table you want something that's really exciting and vibrant so we've got a salsa to start off I've got some cherry tomatoes some garlic and some finely chopped red onion and the whole idea here is to bring a little bit of the heat here so we've got some Mexican hot sauce we're just going to give this a dash and then all I want to do is add in a little, tiny glug of olive oil extra virgin and then finally a squeeze of lime juice you do need that acidic hit and particularly with this dark sort of heat that you're getting with those fajitas you want that hit of sharpness from the lime juice and by by all means, bring this to the table with lime wedges and you have something that's really gorgeous. Give that a good mix up. Oh, I'm nearly losing me, me chipotle paste. Uh, give that a good mix up. And the whole idea here is this will sit quite happily. You could come back to this, make it up in advance if you want to. You could start this on your Saturday morning, have it done and dusted, ready to go. Give that a mix through and it's ready to rock. So this served alongside your feed is absolute gold and gorgeousness. Uh, now, next thing is a quick red cabbage pickle. And I know that sounds like something your granny might make you eat when you're a kid, but it is something that really adds color colour and vibrancy to this dish. So I have red cabbage finely sliced here. We make up a very simple pickled um, liquid of some vinegar which goes in and you can do this, you know, to be honest, you can do this by, your ha by hand and mix it through or you can heat up that vinegar with a little bit of sugar and then create a really nice pickling liquid. So a little bit of sugar goes in here. I've got some coriander seeds in here if you want a little bit of extra flavour, but this sort of thing is all about adaptability, about what you have. So get your hands in there and give it a good squeeze. And what happens is, as you do that, you start to see that colour coming out and you get left with something that's like really, really vibrant in colour. And I love that about this. So once you have that, leave it to sit. It'll happily sit for about half an hour. But if you have the time, make it up in advance and you have the most gorgeous pickle that is ready to rock. Now, I want to check on my veggies. So back over here, we've got lovely things happening here. You want to keep that pan going. And just like I said, it's, a, it's an idea to just kind of come back and check on them. Um, if they're in the oven, go back and give them a toss through. We have ones that are done, so we're going to bring this together. Now, last little touch is to make up some homemade tortillas. If you've never done this before, it is so easy. We've got flour, we've got water, and we've got oil. Season it up with some salt and make a nice shaggy dough, and you have the bones of homemade tortillas. Who knew it could be that easy, but it really, really is. The oil in here is going to be what makes this dough really pliable and easy to roll. When you have that mixed through and all the way uh, made into a dough, leave it to sit for about 30 minutes or so, and then make it into balls and you'll have something that kind of looks like this. Oh no, these are my done ones. I need the ones that aren't done yet. Hang on, they're in this one. This is what happens when you wrap things up in, uh, in paper. This is what you're after. Nice, thin little tortillas. Pop them on a hot pan and you're going to get these gorgeous tortillas like the ones I unwrapped there. 
and you will be left with something you can start building. Ultimately, what you have is all these elements coming together as one. You make up these beautiful tortillas by adding in your vegetables, adding in that lovely salsa, adding in your pickle, all these great things happening in a tortilla, top it off with some sour cream and you have great things happening. And what I love about this is you can bring all these components to the table, set it all out and let them do the work. Let your family do the work for themselves, create these lovely little tacos. And what you do is just squeeze over the lime juice and literally dive in. It is a simple recipe to do. It's one of those things that, you know, if you're looking for something meat free, it's a great one to come back to and have a look because this tortilla it literally takes a minute in the pan and it puffs up, looks really gorgeous and charred, and that's what you're getting there. So really tasty. I'm gonna dive in and try some. I Are mean, you enjoying we've the We've already there? dived in. We've already tried it. It's, go it's gorgeous. It's, it's spicy. Got a, it's got a kick. Yeah. It really does have a got kick. Got a bit of spice in there, if you like spice. Is it, is it, it when you're making your tortillas, is it, is it plain flour or self-raising flour? Plain flour. It's as simple as that. Like, it's four ingredients, and you can make them up really quickly, so. By all means, try that. It's a really easy one. But also, if you can make, you can do the old flour, flour tortilla over a hot pan and you'll get exactly the same result. That's so, so cool. Do whatever way we fancy. Thank Love you. It. Absolutely delicious. Thank you. See you in a bit. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.